We're now going to move on to Iceland, and I'm going to welcome Dr. Sigurdur Sigurdsson, we just call him Siggy, to, uh, to make the presentation on the experience in Iceland. So over to you, Siggy, and can I remind you once again to stay on mute if you're not speaking. Over to you, Siggy. Thank you, Roger, and welcome everybody who's at this uh, uh, international conference via the internet and uh, uh, in spite of a uh, little trouble in the beginning it's going well we've had a local conference here in Akureyri to begin with with stakeholders and we have had speakers from the ministry from three rural healthcare regions from the municipality and uh, from Akureyri hospital uh, I'm going to talk about the case uh, that uh, we did here at Akureyri hospital and uh, what I'm going to focus on is I'll give you a little bit of uh, background and history. Uh, I'm going to go into a little specifically what we actually did in relation to the framework and then give you some results and some future thoughts also. So if we get the next slide, please. Uh, for those who don't remember, we are a small island in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean with a population of about 350,000 people. Uh, we are uh, quite good at almost everything we do, including sports and, and arts, and uh, hopefully also in international projects. So uh, we, we have been very happy to participate in this project. Uh, we can very well Huh. We can very well relate to uh, the uh, problems that uh, we all together have who have been working at this project. And uh, just to give some uh, uh, history, uh, the shortage of physician is not a new thing, uh, both uh, nationally and internationally. And uh, I did some research and actually the first uh, 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 mention of this was in, in the Parliament in 1861, but uh, we have uh, we have from uh, local newspapers, we have from national newspapers, we have from the uh, Parliament, and we have from the Icelandic Medical Association, all addressing this problem over many years and decades. Next slide, please. Uh, when we set out, we decided that we would primarily focus on specialty physicians in Akureyri hospitals. Uh, this, uh, we didn't want to extend our resources too much, and since this was a, a, a long-term chronic problem, we knew that uh, if we made success there, we could uh, probably make su success in, in, with other healthcare workers and even in other workers that uh, needed the, uh, the same uh, uh, that had the same problems. So we set our goals. Uh, you may call them mild or, or, or not m m very sort of ambitious, but we know that these things, they don't happen overnight. So we decided that the first goal to aim at was to get new recruits for long term for uh, of seven new physicians, specialty physicians, and for the, for the term of the project and for the next five years from, from the beginning of the project, 11 new recruits. So that is our target. Uh, and that is what we thought would help us to move forward and, and step out of the sometimes crisis that we had in the hospital with the shortage of physicians. Next slide, please. So this is the framework, uh, and this is what uh, specific uh, actions we took from the products and services that we had from the pri prior uh, project in recruit and retain. Uh, this is not a, a, a complete list, but this is probably the, uh, the things we focused most, mostly on we decided that we needed to do the regular visits to medical schools, both in Iceland and abroad, for training medical students.
to give them information about our hospital and give them a positive picture of if they want to come and, and do their candidate training and their post uh, medical school training with us, they, we were very open to that. So give them a good picture and, and let them know we are here. We did also have some visits to uh, places in, especially in the Nordic countries in, in, in Sweden, uh, to visit uh, groups of Icelandic doctors that were either finished in the speciality training or in the speciality training, knowing, giving them the knowledge that we, as an institute here, were interested in hiring them if they were interested in us, and giving them some idea of what we stand for and who we are. So this is this is was apparently greatly appreciated, uh, and I, I speak for the response that we, get, we got from these these doctors. Uh, we we did advertise both nationally and internationally, but uh, that is something that we could uh, did have done before. But we we still continue that. Uh, we have a understanding, better understanding after working on this project for the uh, uh, the problems that uh, speciality physicians and other physicians see with uh, possible professional isolation when they go to work in rural areas. And we uh, take a forward step, we have taken forward steps to, to address this problem and try to help them uh, with continuing medical education suited for their and the hospital needs uh, outside the norm, if you could say that. And this has also been greatly appreciated because sometimes people uh, think it's a risk to come from a large university hospital to a small hospital if they're ready to do that. And we say, okay, if there's something that you think needs to be addressed, we can help you with that during the first years, two, three years. So we have an understanding of that. And, and also, we, we did take steps in participating in programs uh, of training physicians so they could uh, have connections with this hospital. And we are part of the training pro programs for specialists in Iceland uh, more than ever before. So we, we have this contact, and, and, and uh, they get to know us better. And then maybe the biggest uh, uh, thing that we did is the engagement from the municipality. And this has been addressed here earlier this. And this was a huge success, if I may say so, because uh, we could see that in the interviews that they did after, I will come to that a little bit later, that uh, the, we, we understand the social aspect of getting people to come here and families this is this is a huge that they feel welcome in the in the, in the community, and this is also in 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 coordinates with the, that the hospital is reaching out to the community and asking them what we can do for them. So this this frames very well within our policy also, and we also would like to point out that the gender aspect is changing. So so we're getting more and more women that are becoming doctors. And as someone told us before, where the women decide where the family lives. Next slide, please. Uh, we saw this opportunity to enhance the cooperation between the hospital and accredited municipality by delegating personal contact people to support the integration of physicians and their families in the community and the mentorship for the physicians within the hospital. To provide information about how to work and how to live in the area. Thank you. Next slide, please. So, the results. This is the result of the Iceland jury. Uh, we, uh, we set it up in a simple table, a permanent uh, uh, heads of uh, uh, physician hired and also temporary numbers. And in temporary numbers, there are also those who are uh, uh, going into retirement and are just hired for one year at a time. And as you can see, we have almost reached the, the uh, seven that we wanted to do. We got six and we have more temporary heads. But these temporary heads are not weekend warriors or 
or suitcase doctors. These are who come for longer term or come very regularly and, and are of value in our, in our, uh, in our, our services. So, so I think that this is positive in all areas. Next slide, please. We did also interviews because we wanted to talk to these people who came and, and decided to stay, what were the good things and what were the bad things. So we did uh, interviews, a uh, qualitative study, both in April and December, with a semi-standardized questionnaire. And uh, we had uh, eight doctors that we, we had interviews with, and uh, the, the purpose was to identify the satisfaction and uh, both motivational and demotivational factors of coming to us. And I, I just want to point out that large number of these doctors were foreigners. So we get a, a foreigner's view of us, a uh, 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 sort of different angle that we're used to, and that was very important to us. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so these are the main results of the interviews. We have a, a, a much deeper report of it, and uh, we, we can, we are going to have that in the, in the final report. But they wanted to gain more quality. But we are seen as people living here as having a good quality of life. They want to experience new things. They were coming from different areas. And they want to find this balance between family and work. And this is a paradigm shift, I think. The people are thinking more as finding a good balance between family and work than maybe 20 years ago, especially at, with physicians. And they, some of them wanted to gain international experience. Well done for them. So next slide. Some comments just to give you an idea of what makes us stick out like, like you can balance family and work, the people, they're warm, polite. And for instance, during Christmas, we got many invitations. This is a sort of open-minded society. And uh, also that uh, there is no hierarchy here, and people sometimes come from countries where there is very strict hierarchy, and they feel much more easier to get into the society, society where there is less hierarchy, and also to talk to the uh, managers of the hospitals. Next slide, please. So our conclusion, sort of a local conclusion, if you could say, the doctors are generally happy with their life and work in Akure. Uh, it's important to maintain the quality of services and information. So we, we are not going to stop now. We, we have to keep on doing this because if we, this is not that we, we, have to, we have to think about doctors in the future. It should be considered the, the Icelandic courses better. We, we could have done that better and uh, also find ways to increase childcare services. Some of them came with a lot of children and it was not always easy. <laughs> and, and also, there is a thought between them that some kind of a social net program should be established. And that is a very interesting idea. Next slide, please. Uh, a conclusion, sort of what we think of the project itself. Uh, the, uh, the, what we value most is the working with these guys for, for these years, the research we've done, and the information sharing has been very valuable. And we've established a network, and this is something that's going to, I'm sure, is going to help us in the future. We should continue to work together across borders, and we are going to do this both here in Iceland and I hope elsewhere also to spread the word about how we can address this uh, international problem with these tools that we've shared. Next slide, please. So, Next slide. So remember, rural rocks. Thank you all for listening. Uh, 